what's up everybody so i want to take a moment to come up here um i haven't made a video in like four or five months i believe um but just seeing the the way the the church is and when i say church i can't even say the body of christ because we have a lot of buildings that are mixed with sinners and saints but just seeing the way the churches have forgotten the fear of the lord they have forgotten how holy god is and i can't say much about the caucasian churches um but it seems like in the african-american churches we have decided to get rid of the holy spirit get rid of the fear of the lord because it says in proverbs how the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge of wisdom um or you would depart from evil and stuff like that and it seems like we have decided to take things in our hands to feel like we need to do this in order to draw more people in the church as if the goal is to fill the buildings when in reality is the goal is to share to preach to proclaim the gospel of jesus christ to show people that there is of the way the truth and the life and that's through jesus to help people understand that there's more to life than just getting a job and that's it that to show them that there is a savior that they can surrender their life to them and when we look in uh the book of acts and stuff like that we don't see people we don't see the apostles the disciples saying like you know we gotta get degrees we gotta you know make sure we go to seminary school granted Paul, when he was saw, was raised in the religious um, area and was taught by a lot of, you know, different people. But when it comes to everybody else, like, it even says in Acts how these people realized that they were simple men who didn't have knowledge when it comes to the world. Yet they had the Holy Spirit, they had the fear of the Lord, and whenever they spoke the truth, they we did it with boldness, they did it with signs, wonders, and, and miracles. Nowadays, you don't see that. You see a lot of people saying you you can't minister without a degree. You can't minister without uh, going to seminary school. I'm going to listen to you. It's like they want biblical, smart knowledge, but there is no Holy Spirit. People come back out still bound. They dance their way through service. It's all emotion, and they come back out bound. So it's still bound in sin, still you know not free. They're giving their money, and they're still bound in poverty, and my savior says he came to set people free that's what jesus came to do so if i'm gonna keep going to these churches i keep leaving out bound what savior are they serving you know every year we say this is the year of this and this is the year of that and i'm not saying this is the year of anything but what i am saying is it is time for the churches to wake up it is time to for us as the body of christ to wake up and realize Am I really serving the king of kings or am I serving a false god? Is the place that I am fellowshipping with, are they telling me the truth or are they telling me lies mixed with truth? Is it type, some type of deception? Am I still bound in the same stuff that I was bound in two, three, four, five years ago? Do I have the fear of the Lord? If my pastor right now came out and said something blasphemy or played Beyonce in service, would I just start laughing and grinning and be like, yeah, that's my song, sing and dance? Or will I stand up and be like, this is not right. We have gone astray and leave out, rebuke and leave out. We have got to wake up and come back to the fear of the Lord. Come back to when we first came to Christ and we we're just like, Lord, I, don't want, I just want you and nothing else. I don't want sin, nothing else. I just want to serve you and nothing else. I just want to know the truth and nothing else. This is where we need to get back to. Are you ready to get back to that?